the best running, best tuned vintage BSA I've ever ridden. Starts first kick every time. I don't perfectly. And it's fast. This is the lightning version, twin car, twin cam, uh, single cam, uh, high compression, close ratio transmission. This is an absolute grind to ride. Museum. Thought I'd support my nice BSA jacket uh, that goes so well with this Lightning Rocket 1965. This is the performance, high performance model of the BSA. It had uh, uh, higher compression pistons, bigger heads, and a high lift cam, so it uh, um, is faster. And uh, it's a dual carburetor version, dual exhaust, uh, close ratio transmission. Um, if you Google the Wikipedia description, of the, the, it'll come up, and there's some really cool information I just read about the bike actually. This particular bike starred in two uh, British movie series. Um, one of them was called Boone, and I forget the name of the other one, but um, this bike actually starred in, the, in a couple of really cool movie series. Um, the, the bike is absolutely gorgeous with the chrome tank, original paint. Check out the Lightning Rocket logo on here. It's just a really cool piece of moto memorabilia. It's original uh, graphics. And the tank badge is a Klaasan badge. It's like a 3D badge. Uh, I believe this is original paint on the bike, um, and it's in fantastic shape. Has the original seat, the chrome on the fenders is beautiful. And it's a very, very low miles bike. Very rare to have for vintage motorcycles that are 52 years old is the title. I actually have the, the, the title of the bike from uh, the previous owner from Towns River, New Jersey. Um, just really rare to find that. Bike just broke 5,000 miles. Um, so it's a very low mile bike. We bought the bike in. This came out of the Paul Morissette Museum collection that we purchased. 
of all gorgeous classic bikes that, that uh, were in stunning condition and they were, they were stored with no fuel in the tanks and no batteries. They were in a museum storage state. So we recommissioned them all new fuels. Um, we uh, put a brand new battery in it, uh, did a compression test on the bike, and these were stored properly. So it turned up with a perfect 170 PSI in both cylinders. The um, all electronics were gone through, everything checked out perfectly. All the fluids were changed, uh, brand new uh, engine oil. Um, <clears throat> the uh, all electronics worked perfectly and it was given a nice test ride. I've ridden a lot of vintage bikes. If you check our, my YouTube channel, I've got over 900 videos up. I've ridden every one of those bikes. And let me tell you, this bike right here is the nicest running 60s era classic I've ever ridden. Um, it, uh, we took it to the, the um, uh, Thompson Motor Speedway Vintage Motorcycle event this weekend. My girlfriend Jennifer, actually if you look at my Facebook page, you'll see pictures of her uh, sporting that BSA jacket. She's a pretty little redhead and she rode this thing around the, the track, the two parade laps they let us do and it turned a lot of heads. We had no less than five and all the way up to probably 35 people in our booth at the event and people just love these vintage classic BSAs and it's easy to see why. They're, they're just rare, gorgeous pieces of moto art. This one is a rare survivor with low miles. Um, and when you ride classic vintage bikes all the time, you know right when you get on one, if it's tight, usually they feel it's kind of, you know if they're kind of sketchy, if the front end or rear end is loose, or if the bearings are loose, or if the tranny's not right. This one here is the, I'm gonna give this my vote as the number one tightest vintage classic I've ridden yet. And uh, I'm sure you'll agree if you purchase it, it runs perfectly, starts first kick. It's fast, smooth, it's just beautifully, it handles great. Uh, and it's just not, not a, uh, there's nothing funky about it or, or out of sorts when you're riding on, on the road or on the track that we got a chance to do. So um, just a rare, gorgeous classic. If you have any questions about this bike, give us a call 860-454-7024. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the NADA value on this bike is uh, quite high. It's uh, $18,120. It's one of the most valuable BSAs from the 60s, uh, being the, the high performance lightning rocket version. It's in the right color. It's the, the red with the chrome. Um, definitely an absolutely gorgeous machine. And it's, uh, as far as I can tell, it's 100% stock. Um, has a tachometer, speedometer, uh, and just, just a fantastic machine. We put 15 hours of labor into the bike, uh, plus parts and shipping. We put a total of 17.50 into it, recommissioning it, and getting it tuned and ready for the road. Uh, has some patina on the chrome on the wheels, as you'd expect with a 52 year old motorcycle, but that's the beauty of it. This is a true, unmolested, original classic. Um, I hope it goes to a good home. A portion of the proceeds are going to fund the Newland Motorcycle Museum, so it's going to a good cause. You're buying mud history, and you're helping preserve motorcycle culture by supporting the museum. So um, I'm going to roll her back into the museum. You're welcome to leave it here as long as you like, or pick it up as soon as you'd like. Uh, as soon as it's paid for, if you buy it. And uh, we can ship it pretty much anywhere in the country for around $500. So don't let shipping scare you. We use haulbikes.com, fully insured. They've shipped hundreds of bikes with us with no issues. I rode this back from Thompson Motor Speedway after riding it there, and I tightened up the, uh, has an adjustable steering uh, dampener right here, and I was cruising down the back roads, some of the best back roads in Connecticut, and boy, this thing just handles so great with the front end. Dampener tightened up a little bit. Just, just, just lean it, and it'll go anywhere you want. Just think about turning, and it turns. These are notorious bikes for being excellent handling, and uh, this one, this Lightning Rocket, is a perfect example of the breed. So good luck bidding on this. Long live the Queen and God bless England.